Today we're looking at idioms, alliteration, hyperbole, and onomatopoeia. Hyperbole is an extreme exaggeration to show effect. A couple examples that we commonly hear are, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse, or, oh, my feet are killing me, or, oh, my backpack weighs a ton. This isn't actually true. It doesn't actually weigh a ton. It's just showing effect. An idiom is a type of expression where their actual meaning is different from their literal meaning. An example is, it's raining cats and dogs. This means that it's raining a lot outside. It doesn't actually mean that puppies and kittens are coming down from the sky. This type of figurative language might be difficult to pronounce, but it's really easy to recognize. Onomatopoeia are words that imitate sounds. We see this a lot in comic books. It's used to give a specific picture of what's happening and to engage the readers. Boom, pow, keeps you on the edge of your seat. Alliteration occurs when you see words together that have the same beginning consonant sound. That doesn't necessarily mean they have the same letter, but it's the same consonant sound. So these two examples here, people call them tongue twisters, but this is actually alliteration. It makes reading more enjoyable. Time for some practice. Can you figure out what type of figurative language this is? Allison always allows alligators to accompany her to Alaska. Hopefully the AL sound didn't give it away. This is alliteration. Most of those words have the same beginning consonant sound. It's silly too because nobody brings alligators with them, especially not to Alaska. What type of figurative language is this? Mrs. D ran to the cheeseburger with lightning speed. Boom! She ran straight into the glass door. Hopefully you caught both types of figurative language in here. Lightning speed is a hyperbole. It's an exaggeration because it's impossible for me to be as fast as lightning or fast at all. And boom is onomatopoeia. It's showing the sound I make when I crash into the door. How about this one? Quarantine has turned Mrs. D into a couch potato based on a true story. This is an idiom. I'm not actually turning into a potato. I mean, I love potatoes, all forms of potatoes, french fries, mashed potatoes, hash browns, but I can't actually turn into a potato, even though I look like one on the couch. This is an idiom. I'm not actually turning into a potato. I mean, I love potatoes, all forms of potatoes, french fries.